happening? Even your boy. Oh, well, they're going straight into it. I didn't get a chance to, to introduce Cola. A million wins on million wins, wins on, on everyone, everyone that isn't named One Leo, Spargo, and twenty one. This is this is gonna be a classic. I love oh, Roy Dittos. Roy Dittos are so explosive. They always just run Absolutely. at each other. They're always going for big conversions. Up the out of shield gonna start off uh, Cola's game one. The amazing thing about oh these two goodness. characters, and the amazing thing about seeing Roy is is like kind of the different spaces you want to like really oppress someone in. Whereas Cola, Cola just wants to focus. Cola just wants to focus on tracing and following you every which way you go. Uh, just kind of covering and option selecting for any like landing option, defensive option. Uh, Frostbite is really big on just calling you out, putting you into a tech chase, going for these like roll reads, going for um, honestly anything that will net him huge damage. Whereas Cola is just kind of understanding the flow of the game. And, uh, At the very beginning of the game, you saw Frostbite just run off and like go for a yeah, read on the yeah, dare. I was like, of course this so. dude is this dude is running. And so I so. love it. And it's like the opposite of what we saw from the C-Stream Moxie set, where, where it's clear that you're playing against like a top 20, top five player in the world, and like you're outmatched in some way, shape, or form. But that confidence to, to just go in and our play is frozen right now. Play frozen? But, um, level up. I hear a lot of moves hitting. I hear a lot, a of, lot of moves hitting as well. I'm trying to see the, the thing from from Frostbite's screen, but Cola, something I, I want to say about Cola is that Cola is so good at making tiny adaptations in the middle of the game. He notices habits so well, so and, he, and he adjusts on the fly so quickly. He'll he'll make the most tiny micro adjustment. He'll make the most tiny like like spacing difference, and yeah. it'll and it'll catch people out so quickly. Even and, compared to other like top level players in the world, even compared to them, Cola has immaculate positioning. Like, the, the, the way he is able to control center stage, follow you at the perfect range, and make it so that you have to answer to one of his moves, or else you'll just get hit by that. And even if you do answer to one of the moves, like it's fair, he'll just down tilt you. He will, he will be so, so, so good at knowing exactly where you'll end up. I'm trying to see if our if, if it's just our display or if it's the whole screen that's it gone might, down. It might be the whole screen. I'm really hoping it's not the whole screen. Really the whole screen. If this we're just if we're just podcasting right now. An, this is such an amazing game. Super Smash Brothers yes. podcast. It looks like it's, is it one stop to one stop? Is it? Is it? It might be. It, I, I hear I, I hear so. cheering from the crowd. So it looks it's like just, it's one stop to one stop. One to one. Oh, they can see. All right, we we have the stream pulled up right, over right. here. Right, stream is still live. Stream, stream is still, still live, live, so we're good. I'm glad you guys can see. We're, we're at one stock to one stock. Our commentary might be a little bit behind, so if you guys hear us popping off, it's because our stream is like two seconds in the future yeah, to us. Just a few seconds in the future. Goodness, that back in. 61% on Cola, and... There we go. There we go. The oh, we're back. Okay. Now. No. Is that Cola the one game one? Yep, Cola one game. Cola one oh. game one. Yep, Cola yeah, one Cola game Cola one game one. Okay. I, I got confused with the colors for a second, but yeah, it looks like we're back. I can actually see now. That's nice. It's pretty helpful according to commentating to be able to see bit, the game that you're commentating. <laughs> but you know. I mean, I think like. Oh, they're it's, running it back so fast. Seeing the screen is like top five. Top most five important most important things. Yeah, things. you know. Just like yeah. having audio. Yeah, having audio, having a voice. All righty. We're back into game two. Cola up one game to zero. Oh. Frostbite tweeted earlier that he wasn't feeling very good, but he's keeping up pretty well with Cola. Uh, maybe not this very first stock, and wow, that was a, that was a commit Dude, from no Cola. Way. No way. Frostbite. What, did you think that was going to kill or something? What is <laughs> Dude. Cola is out for blood right now. Oh my goodness. Even, even when Frostbite is like next to the blast zone, Cola is chasing. Frostbite kind of out for blood too, though. They're both kind of running at each other, going for as many strings as they can, trying to trying to outmaneuver each other on these platforms, get the nares, the chunky nair hits, those, those like like hard spot, not soft spot. <laughs> uh, so like the hilt. Uh, what am I trying to say? The, the Sweet spot. Baser, thank you. That one instead of the tipper. These, it, it's so nice watching Roy play and like hearing the, like, the audio because like every single time his, his sword connects, it's just chunky. Boom. 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 And then, like, the Roy Ditto, it, it, it's oh like... My oh, my God! Okay, that's goodness. not that. The Roy Ditto is always... It feels like playing Smash at, like, 1.5 times speed. You're going like, so this fast. Is, this is insane. Like, you are... 
you are constantly interacting, having to adapt on the fly, or else you're just gonna, one is gonna swallow the other hole. Yep, they're both gonna sit and oh shield for goodness, a second. Yeah. Who, who would not be terrified of uh, that situation, shielding right next to Roy, as Roy? Kind of unfortunate for, for Frostbite so far, because he's had a lot of opportunity to take these stocks, but great DI from Cola on the upper earlier, and not getting the Jair as well. This is, should be dead? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And 84% uh, on Frostbite. Uh, a bit of a hill to climb, but if there is any character in the game that can climb it, it's Roy. But at the same time, if there's any character in the game you that can, can easily take a stop at 84%, Ooh, yep. it's Roy. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the thing, right? It, it, it feels like the character that can best deal with, with the oppressive nature of Roy is just Roy. And then again, the person who gets oppressed the most by Roy might just be Roy. <laughs> because he's so oppressive. He is terrifying. Bit of a double-edged sword begin to the double-edged dance, you know what I mean? Oh, oh my god, the roll read from Cola no. gonna make it too. That's like the, that's like the number one Roy no no. Don't roll in on that dude. Looks like this is best of five now. We're in winners quarters. I believe this is top sixteen. Uh, I might be maybe well, maybe qualify. Well it's qualifiers for top eight. It's quarters. It's quarters. Cool, 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 cool. So it is gonna be best of five. We're gonna see a color change from Frostbite. Closing oh, his eyes. Wow. That's you. Meditating for a second. Meditating. I love the I love the color changes. Taking in the energy. Oh, this Roy skin's awesome. This is a good one. I think we have Buddha Bam and Goblin going on in the second stream, which is kind of a crazy set. Buddha Bam absolutely going crazy this bracket. Oh, oh my god, my Cola. It's like the weakest still. spike in the game or something. It's really weak even if you hit the sweet spot. So it's it's so, it's so meaty, cool. It's so meaty and cool. The fire effects. Ooh. Just comboed into it. This is crazy. Seeing seeing all these like North Carolina players oh, at, at like so deep in this tournament with um yeah, with so many great players. Seeing Budaban playing Goblin in winners quarterfinals of a like 250 person like major uh -huh. or regional is crazy to me. Oh my goodness. Oh, this might just be death. I think, no, he saw a jump. Oh, messes up the back here. Oh, oh and there's a wow, proper spike what a from Frostbite. This is just one of those matchups you would not expect. If I jump, I'm going to die here at like 50%. I, you, you don't expect that, but in the Roy Oh own, no, the air dodge from Frostbite. That's so unfortunate. And Frostbite, after that spike, you, like if you had USD so quickly, you probably see a little bit. But it doesn't seem like he is. He's, he's yeah, still no, throwing no. out hitboxes. He's, he's still going for the strings. You just need one Roy combo and you're completely reinvigorated. Absolutely. Yeah. The most satisfying move in the game. The double edge dance, not quite going to get the sweet spot. So not going to get any absurd offstage kills at 30%. But <laughs> that is that is a lot of percentage already. 71%. Is that dead? Oh, yeah, that's dead. That's dead. He didn't have a death. Yeah, just straight 3-0. Going out with Cola. a little bit of a whimper instead of a bang, but. Is Cola taking a 3-0? Absolutely. Again, every every single place, even if it was off stage, if Frostbite was there, Cola was there. Mm -hmm. Cola was there aggressing. There was, there was, it felt like there was never any point except for like the two seconds they were holding shield on each other. It never felt like there was any point where one was not getting hit by the other. Mm -hmm. it, it was, it was insanely high speed high action like i said we got goblin and buddha bam on the side stream i think it's ncsu smash i might be wrong about that um it should be sudi sudi nc sudi nc well then we have it wrong on the on the bracket but anyways oh it looks like we got someone making an announcement not sure exactly what it was but um anyways we're gonna get into Top 16, got? another another best of five Ooh. between Moxie and Peebna. And these act, these two players actually do have a history. They played at Riptide, and Peebna got 129th because he lost to Moxie pretty early, Moxie's PT. And apparently, uh, they've actually become friends since then, played yeah. some friendlies, and Moxie's given Peeb a lot of advice on the Wolf matchup, and he's improved on it a lot, oh, apparently. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fantastic seeing, uh, talking to Peeb, it, it's fantastic seeing, like, the, the different bits of knowledge he like soaks up from other players saying mm -hmm. like oh I talked to this player talked to this player I learned this about player. this little tidbit he's always he's always learning more and more and then whenever we'll like watch a major he'll just be like hey this is why this person wants to hold center stage this is why this person is drifting back it, it's just so much like micro knowledge mm -hmm. that uh, he seems to have a good grasp of um, we're all just we're all just 
eagerly waiting for that moment where all of that knowledge comes to fruition and he just he beats pops Leo. off. And he beats MK Leo and Spargo. And Tweak. And Tweak. And Cola, yeah. Does he have a Cola win yet? I don't think so. Don't think so. I don't think so either. Hmm. He's almost there. Almost so. There's a, there's a, I think I have a list of wins for Peeb. Let me see if I can find it. Peeb Nut has wins on Kameme, Wadi, Scat, Mr. R, Fatality, and Don Quavius hometown hero. Wish he was here. Whatever. Moxie, a little bit Don't better of a resume so far, yeah. and I think is, is, is definitely higher ranked, uh, even on the even on the Orion rank. Uh, 72 for Moxie, 116 for Peepnut. Mm -hmm. Peepnut also ranked number zero, technically, yeah, in technically, South Carolina uh, because of inactivity in locals, but is very obviously the, the best player in South Carolina since the Arfang age. Since the Arfang age. Since, it's been uh, so long since Arfang, then. Arfang was tragically since he left lost. Us. Come back, Randy. We miss you. <laughs> Your, your family misses you. Your kids Since miss you. We tragically lost our thing to a, a coming of age incident. Where he got a full time job. Where he got a full time job. You hate to see it for real. Hate it. Looks like we're having a bit of a technical issue on the. I on the they're just trying to get. A, they're trying to get audio together. Moxie already ready with the IPL live tag. I don't know if she plays with game sound or if she plays with her own music. She's got the the Sony, the the, the great noise canceling yeah, headphones yeah. from Sony. Oh, those are those are a great pair of headphones. Uh, real comfortable, real good. So we are going to be seeing. Uh, card. We're going to be seeing Mega Man versus Wolf. I wonder if this is. I wonder if Moxie's going to want to slow it down a little bit. We compared saw to how uh, she played against C Stream. Oh, yeah, definitely. 